Welcome to the beginner-friendly prevention training program for runners. I'm Sabrina from the physical therapy app Exact Health, and today we're doing a 26-minute workout together, focusing on your core and leg strength. In this video, you'll be doing the exercises at the same time as me. You'll hear additional tips in the voiceover. Let's get started with the first core circuit. The first exercise is a plank. Place your elbows under your shoulders, stretch your legs backwards, forming a straight line from the back of your head to your heels. If necessary, place your knees on the mat, but maintain the tension in your core. Squeeze your glutes, draw your belly button inwards and keep breathing deeply and steadily while keeping your core engaged. Well done! In between exercises you now have a 15 second break. Next up is a side plank on your left side. If the breaks are too short for you, you can always stop the video and take a longer break. Let's continue for now. Forming one straight line from head to toe, lift yourself off the mat for a side plank. If this is too tricky, you can do it on your knees. Throughout the whole 30 seconds, keep your core engaged and breathe normally. Be careful not to tilt the pelvis forwards or backwards and keep your entire spine long and proud. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and keep up the good work, we're almost done. Take another short break. Next up is the same exercise on the other side. Take a couple of deep breaths. If you want, you can already turn onto your right side. We will continue soon. Let's start with the side plank on the right side. To do this, lift your pelvis. Keep your legs straight and remember, if this is too strenuous, you can do it on your knees. Form a straight line with your whole body as best as you can. Continue to breathe deeply and calmly. Keep your pelvis nice and high, maintain the tension in your left shoulder and try to firmly push yourself away from the mat. Well done! Let's take another short break. Next up is the last exercise in the first round of this circuit, which is bridging. Take a few deep breaths and lay down in the middle of your mat. We'll begin in a few seconds. Lie on your back and place your feet hip width apart. Lift yourself off the mat by tightly squeezing your glutes. Keep your legs parallel to each other and your arms next to your body. When your hips are at the highest point, your weight should be evenly distributed between your heels and between your shoulder blades. Make sure you keep your pelvis nice and high, breathe deeply and feel your glutes work for you during the last few seconds of this exercise. Break time. You just successfully finished the first of two rounds of the circuit. After another short break, we will repeat the cycle again, starting with another round of the plank. Get ready for a more dynamic round. Placing your elbows under your shoulders, push yourself up into a plank once again. In this round, you can try to alternate lifting up your legs during the plank. If this is too tricky, hold the plank like before. Avoid hollowing your back by tucking in your pubic bone and feeling your core work for you. Try to form a straight line from head to toe, you're almost done. That's it. Take another 15 second break. Take a deep breath and prepare for the next exercise by turning to your left side for a dynamic side plank. Lift yourself off the mat again and form a straight line with your whole body. For an easier variation, come onto your knees. This time, slightly lower your hips down towards the mat, but without touching the ground. 
Then push yourself up again and repeat this movement a few times, slowly and in a controlled manner. Make sure you maintain stability in your shoulder and don't let your pelvis tilt backwards or forwards. Very good. After another 15 second break, we will perform the same exercise on the other side. Get ready, we will start again soon. Let's start again. On your feet or knees, come up into a side plank on your right side. Just like you did on your left side, move your pelvis up and down like shown, keeping good tension in your core. Don't forget to keep breathing. Try to find your own tempo that you can continue with for a few more repetitions. You're doing great. Wonderful. Let's take another short break before we start the last exercise in the circuit, dynamic bridging. You can already lay down on your back in the middle of your mat, we're about to start again. Lift your pelvis from the mat again for this last round of bridging. This time, holding your position like before, alternatingly pull one knee at a time towards your chest without lowering your pelvis. If this is too much for you now, don't worry and just hold the position at the top. Keep your glutes and core engaged, lift your hips to the highest point and keep pushing yourself for a few more seconds. Well done! You have completed the first of four exercise circuits in this video. We're going to take a one minute break now. Before we start with the second core strength circuit, I would like to give you an important tip. Comprehensive runner prevention training includes not only strengthening, but also mobilizing and jumping exercises. However, this video focuses exclusively on increasing your core and leg strength. The prevention plan in the Exact Health app includes all these areas you need for preventive strength training as a runner. Take a few more deep breaths and enjoy the break before we continue with the workout. Let's get started with the second core strength circuit. Laying on your back, lift your head and shoulders off the mat for a static crunch. Place your hands at the side of your head and keep your elbows wide. Keep your gaze between your thighs, feel the tension in your abdominal muscles and continue to breathe deeply. Hold the weight of your head without pulling yourself up with your hands. If your neck muscles start to hurt, you can pause briefly. You made it! Lower your head and shoulders back down onto the mat, let go of all tension and take a deep breath. For the next exercise, turn onto your stomach. Lying on your stomach, lift your head and shoulders off the mat again. Place your hands at the side of your head and keep your forehead parallel to the floor. Try to avoid overextending your neck and keep your chin tucked towards the chest without letting your head droop. Feel your lower back working and keep your glutes engaged. Keep your eyes on the mat, breathe deeply and hold the position. You can stretch your arms backwards to make this a bit easier. Well done! Feel free to already turn onto your back again and we will start with a dynamic version of the crunch after a short break. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat again for a dynamic version of the crunch. 
In this round, we won't just hold the upper position, but alternate between coming up from the mat with the upper body, holding there for a moment and then coming back down a little. Always try to keep the tension in your abdomen and never lower your head and shoulders completely. Keep up the good work, we're almost there. Take another 15 second break, during which you're welcome to turn onto your stomach again. Use this time to take another deep breath. We'll continue in a bit. Let's continue. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat again. This time around we will also add some movement to this exercise. Instead of simply holding at the top, come up as far as you can from the starting position. Hold briefly and then lower your upper body back down just above the mat. Always try to keep some tension in your back and feel the muscles on the back of your body working. Keep your glutes engaged throughout the whole movement and keep breathing deeply. Great! You've completed half of the prevention training routine for runners. Your core will now get a break and after a one minute break we will start with the first leg strength circuit. Before we continue with our workout, I have another tip for you. No matter how much time and energy you may be investing into your prevention training, running injuries can still happen to everyone. Luckily, recovering from them doesn't have to be daunting or overwhelming and if you follow an active, personalized and evidence-based rehab approach, you will be back to running soon. In the video linked in the video description, Exact Health's head physiotherapist shares her top tips for injured runners. Take a few more deep breaths and enjoy the rest of your break. You deserve it. Let's get started with the first leg strength circuit. The first exercise of the circuit is the calf raise. Stand on the mat with your feet hip width apart. You can either hold onto something for more balance or cross your arms in front of your chest. Keep your back nice and straight, push yourself up onto your toes with control, briefly hold yourself at the top and slowly come back down. Make sure you perform the exercise in a controlled manner without much momentum to really get those calf muscles working. Very good. Let's take another short break, after which we will continue with squats. You can take a stance that is about shoulder width apart to get ready for the next exercise. Let's get started again. Imagine sitting your butt far down and back and hold the tension at the bottom for a moment. Come back up and squeeze your glutes at the end of the movement. Make sure you push your knees outwards and don't let them fall inwards during the whole movement. Pull the shoulders far away from the ears and try to keep the same tempo you've started with until we're done. Just a few more repetitions. Wonderful! We will take a 15 second break and repeat the circuit, consisting of calf raises and squats, two more times in total. We're starting with calf raises again. As before, push yourself up onto your toes without momentum, pause briefly at the top and come back down slowly and in a controlled manner. Do the exercise at your own pace and feel your calf muscles working. If you feel your balance allows it, you can also try doing this exercise without holding onto something. Perform a few more controlled and steady repetitions before we start with the next round of squats after a short break. Very good. Take another quick break and prepare for the next exercise by finding the stance that works well for you for squats. Let's continue with the next round of squats. As in the first round, 
come back and down with your butt, pause briefly and then push yourself back up to an upright position. Keep your knees pushed out to prevent them from collapsing inwards, pull your shoulders away from your ears and perform the exercise slowly and in a controlled manner at your own pace. Always end the movement in a standing position by tightly squeezing your glutes. You have successfully completed the second round of the circuit. After a short break, we will repeat the calf raises and squats one last time for 30 seconds each. We're starting again with the calf raises. If you now feel your calf muscles more than on the first and second round, this is completely normal. Try to perform the movement in a controlled manner and without gaining momentum in this last round. Keep going before we perform the squat for one last time. Stick to your own pace and keep pushing, we're almost there now. We did it! Take another short break, use it to take a deep breath and feel how warm your calves now feel. Get ready for the last round of squats. Let's start with the last round of squats. Once again, make a conscious effort not to let your knees tilt inwards and keep your back and upper body as straight and upright as possible throughout the exercise. Keep breathing deeply and consciously. Feel how your thighs and glutes are being targeted during this exercise. You're almost there, just a few more repetitions. Very good work. Three out of four exercise circuits are done. Take a deep breath and enjoy this short break. Before we move on to the last exercise circuit in this video, after a one minute break, I have a reading tip for you to help you avoid running injuries in the long run. Running enthusiasts know that systematic training prevents overuse injuries, but even with the most perfect plan, injuries can still occur. In the blog article link below, our physiotherapists explain the risk of overuse injuries and how you can prevent them. Enjoy the rest of your break by taking a few more deep breaths. Now let's get started with the second leg strength circuit. Our first exercise of this circuit is the lunge. Step one foot back and come down by bending both knees. Keep your upper body upright, your core engaged and your shoulders drawn away from the ears. Maintain a steady pace and concentrate on a clean execution. Just a few more reps on each side before I introduce you to the second exercise in this circuit. Very good! Next, we will do a hip abduction in a standing position on the right side. Take another deep breath and stand in the middle of your mat with your weight on your left leg. Standing on your left leg, lift your right leg straight up to the side. Keep the left leg slightly bent and lift the right leg up to the side without much momentum. Feel the lateral gluteal muscles working on both the moving side and the standing leg side. Repeat the movement in a controlled manner at your own pace for a few more repetitions. Very good. Take another 15 second break, then continue with the same exercise on the other side. If you like, you can shake out your legs for a second, prepare yourself again and shift your weight to your right leg. Let's continue. As you've just done on the other side, 
Lift your left leg straight up to the side from an upright position without much momentum and lower it again. Keep your right leg slightly bent and make sure your knee does not tilt inwards. Try to maintain a steady pace, perform the movement slowly and in a controlled manner and feel the muscles at the side of your hip working on both sides. You did great! If you like, you can shake out your legs again briefly, take a deep breath and prepare yourself mentally for the next exercise. Next, we will do lunges again, alternating sides like in the first round. Let's start again. In a big lunge, alternate between bringing your feet far back, sitting deep into the movement with your upper body upright and coming back up slowly in a controlled manner. Make sure your front knee does not bend inwards and try not to work with too much momentum. The weight should mainly be focused on your front leg. Push off of your heel and keep going for a few more reps on each side. You're doing great. Very good. We'll take the next short break, during which you can roll your shoulders backwards or simply rest your legs for a moment. Take a deep breath and we will continue. We are starting again with the standing hip abduction. Start by standing on your left leg and lift your right leg up to the side. Once again, you should try to perform the movement slowly and in a controlled manner. Make sure that your knee does not bend inwards when you stand. Try to keep your right hip joint, knee joint and ankle joint in a straight line. Feel your gluteal muscles working and follow through on the last few seconds of this exercise. And we're done again. Take another deep breath and notice how warm your muscles have become. Prepare for the second round of the hip abduction on the left. Shift your weight onto your right, slightly bent leg and raise your straightened left leg sideways in a controlled manner. Hold at the top for a moment and then lower it back down just above the floor. Keep your upper body nice and upright, keep your shoulders lowered and breathe evenly. Feel your lateral gluteal muscles working and hold on, you're almost there. Wonderful! Let's take another short break before we continue with the lunges. Stand on the front end of your mat again, take a hip width stance and take another deep breath. Let's continue with the last round of lunges for today. Even though your legs may have become a bit more tired by now, you should make sure to do the exercise as smoothly as possible to protect your joints and give your muscles the best possible conditions to get stronger. Make sure to keep your torso upright and sit deeply into the lunge. Keep breathing deeply and keep going. You can do it. Take a short break before we start one last time with the standing hip abduction on the right. You're almost there. You can already shift your weight to your left leg again. We're about to start. Lift your right leg sideways in a controlled manner as the times before and notice where you feel this exercise the most. Hold on, this is the last round of this exercise in today's prevention training. Continue to work without momentum, keep your standing leg slightly bent and make sure you maintain your leg axis. Keep going, just a few more repetitions and you're done. Let's take one last break for today and repeat the same exercise on the other side. After that, we will be done and will have successfully completed the entire prevention training. Get ready!
One last time, stand on your right leg. Raise your left leg sideways. In this last round, try to perform the movement without momentum once again. Feel your muscles working and find a pace that suits you. Keep going and try not to put your leg down in between reps. You're almost there. We'll do a few more repetitions and then we're done for this workout. You got this. Congratulations, you did it. As a beginner runner, you can incorporate this workout into your training routine twice a week. You can find similar workouts and much more in the Exact Health app. The app automatically adjusts the difficulty levels according to your feedback and progress. You can find the link to download the app at the bottom of the video description. Finally, I have one last tip for you. Warming up properly before running is just as important as a good prevention training routine. In the video that's linked on the left side, you will find a follow along warm up routine for runners. You can also find the link in the video description below. We wish you an injury free running season. Thank you for doing this workout with me today and see you next time.